Okay, so this is the video where we're going to start talking about the triangular distribution. Now, the triangular distribution is a little bit different, and it's similar to what we will have talked about for the uniform distribution. Okay, so I've cut the piece from the NCA uh, formula sheet, and I've put it down here for you. Okay. So this is the bit for the triangle distribution, and it's really important that we get one thing clear right from the start, and that is these formulas up here are only about working out the height of your triangle. Okay? Now the letters correspond to what's down here in the map. Okay? So if I was going to work out a value between A and C, I've got to use this formula to work out the height. And if I'm working out a value between C and B, I'm working out this formula to work out the height. And then to work out the probability, because the triangle distribution is a continuous distribution, a continued distribution, the area is the probability. So I have to do a half base times height to work out the area. Now, naturally, that causes a bit of a problem when I've got a value between here and, say, here. You'd have to work out the area underneath to the left, work out the area to the right, and then subtract both of those away from one. But that's just using some probability now rather than doing anything that's particularly difficult. Okay? So with your triangle distribution, it's continuous. So that's the first thing. So therefore, you would expect it to be something that's measured. In this case, my example from the 2017 exam is liters. That's measured. So I'm fairly happy with that. Okay. So that's the first thing I've got to worry about. It's continuous. But then for a, con for a triangle distribution, unlike a uniform distribution, a uniform distribution, they'll tell me, that uh, I've got a minimum and I've got a maximum, and they should tell you something along the lines of everything is equally likely. With a triangle distribution, they'll tell you a minimum, they'll tell you a maximum, and they'll tell you the most likely. Outcome, or they'll call it the mode. Okay? And that gives me a fairly good indication that this is a triangle distribution. So if I look at my problem over here, it says the amount of water used when taking a shower can be modelled by a random variable that takes values between 20 litres and 200 litres. The most likely amount of water used when taking a shower is 50 litres. So if I have my function of x and my scale, my minimum is 20, my maximum is 200, and my mode is 50. So therefore, oops, terrible triangle there. That's my triangle. Okay, just going to quickly try and fix my first line, because that wasn't very good at all. So, that is my triangle, okay? And that's all I'm going to do. So that's, that's given me a fairly good picture. Now it says, use an appropriate distribution model, calculate an estimate for the percentage of showers that use 50 liters of water. So I'm gonna do this in a slightly different color. So 50 liters of water is exactly on my mode. Now, I could use either formula there, but if you look down here, if it's at the mode, they've given me a separate formula for working out the height. So why don't I just use that? So if I think about my height, my height equals 
Right, and my formula is two lots of B minus A. So just under here, I'm just going to quickly go through and write down what each value is, because I always find that useful. So A is 20, B is 200, and C is 50. Okay, just matching up from my picture. So that's okay. So therefore the height is 2 over 200 minus 20. So that's 2 over 180 or 1 over 90. Right, so just got to be careful at this point. This is not the probability. The probability that x is less than 50 is going to be, well, it's a half times the base. The base is the distance from here to here. So the distance between 20 and 50 is 30 times 1 90th, which is going to be 30 over 180, which is going to be uh, 3 over 18, or 1 sixth. So the probability they use less than the mode is 1 sixth. Now there's two things we need to be careful about. And these are two different things that I've seen in my time of doing this particular topic. The first thing is people forget to work out the area given the fact they've just worked out their height. They work out the height and they think they've done answer the problem. Okay, that is not the case. The second thing that people forget to do is when they work out the base, Sometimes they just take the base number of 50 because they're forgetting it's the distance between the two values. So just watch out for those two things and you should be fine. So now we can put a tick against using the probability to work out the probability of less than 50 litres of water. The second part, and for some reason I cut off the double I, I now need to work out Work out an estimate of the percentage of showers that use more than 40 litres. Oh, just may spotted something that's really useful because you need to always read the question. It's asked me for a percentage. I've left my answer as a fraction. That is not going to cut it. So now I need to go right. Menu one, one sixth times a hundred is 16.67%. So I need to make sure I actually write the answer in the format they've asked me to do. Now I can put a tick there. Okay, so the second problem was probability and estimate, the percentage shows use more than 40 liters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw myself a new picture it's a lot easier doing this having drawn the triangle. So I'm going to cheat and do it that way around. So therefore, that is 20. That is 50. That is 200. Really doesn't matter too much about the scale. That is 40. Now they want me to do more than 40 litres. So they want me to work out the probability over here. But that's a lot of work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out the probability over here. And then having worked out my green bit, I'm going to take that away from one because the probability under this whole triangle has to be one. Okay, so that's my logic. That's what I'm going to do. I find that easier than trying to work out this half of the triangle and then add on this bit. It's just a lot of work. I'm just going to end up working out one calculation and take it away from one. So because I'm working out the value is 40, that's between the lowest value and the middle, the mode. So I'm going to be using this particular formula here. 
Okay, so my height equals, right, it's two lots of x, which is 40, minus a, which is 20, over b minus a, which is 200 minus 20, c minus a, so that's 50 minus 20, which is, well, 40 minus 20 is 20, so that's 40, because two lots of 20 is 40, and I've got 180 times 30. Okay, so uh, I could work out my denominator and do 30 times or 3 times 180, which is 540. So I'd end up with 4 over 540. So that's my height. Did that in my head, so I'm just going to double check. Should remember that, but always worthwhile checking. So therefore, the area, which is the probability, is a half times my base. Now remember, my base was 20 because it's the distance between 20 and 40, times 4 over 540, which is going to give me 80 over 1080. And at that point, I'm going to use my calculator to divide that and I'm going to get a probability which is 0 0.074 or because it's been asked to be written as a percentage 7.4%. Okay, so that's me working through using the formula. Now, if it did give me the value, oh, actually, no, I haven't quite finished, have I? Because I've forgotten the one key thing, because I said the probability that I've worked out here is for less than 40. My question has asked me to work out the probability it is more than 40. So the probability that X is greater than 40 litres it's going to be one min uh, sorry, one minus naught point naught seven four, which is naught point nine two six or ninety two point six percent. Now I've managed to answer the question. So it didn't matter if I had to work out the value above here or below here. I just have to use the right bit of the formula that's on the formula sheet. But I do have to remember that once I've worked out my height, I have to work out my area to get my probability. And in this case, it was easier for me to work out that little bit down there and subtract it away from one and then convert it into percentage and upwards. And lastly, we do need to be careful that if it asks for a percentage, we give them a percentage because lots of people seem to miss that. And even I nearly did there. It's very easy to miss that when you're in the middle of a question. Okay, so that's triangle distribution. I hope that was useful. Until next time.